Hey everybody, welcome back to the Conspiracy Podcast. What's poppin'? What's up everybody? Let's Ho get going, man. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're liking the video and just don't hate us now. I know, right? You see us, They're our like, faces. Oh, that's, that's Sean? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, wow, what's up with that Widow's Peak, bro? <laughs> oh yeah, Widow's Peak is the worst thing to have ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, <laughs> I mean, it's it's. Like, I have like a massacre like, peak. <laughs> <laughs> There's no peak. Yeah. Zero. Do you have a landfill? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so hope you guys are doing good. We uh, are doing an episode tonight on Lizzie Borden. Bum, bum, bum. You know? Isn't that like the? Have you guys heard of Lizzie Borden? Uh, like a little bit. I don't really know no. much. I li I like the ones I don't really know shit. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to like figure. So it this out is more of like a murder mystery. Mm. This is more of like one of the most famous campfire. Murder mystery legends that exist. Oh, so maybe it's a le the legend yes, is what that's right. makes it into our domain. Yeah. And so a special shout out, though, of course, to uh, who put this together, our uh, head researcher, Caprice. Caprice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Your goddess. Um, she put a, put together this. Uh, it's going to be a two part. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also, not to forget, Ben also helped put this together. Yeah, so, Big uh, Ben, my man. Tag teaming. Uh, he, he helped as well. So it's a, <laughs> it's a duo here. So uh, here we go. And... This this is one of our Patreon episodes. This is right. This is a Patreon episode. And not to and not to not to not to forget. Mm. This is the CC's, right? Yeah, CC's. CC. This oh, is for you. Okay. For sure. And then maybe um, you know, once we get this merch rolling, we'll get you. You'll be able to purchase another uh, mug for your collection. That's right. <laughs> Of, there you uh, go. 3,000 cups. Uh, and if you don't know, CC is part of the VIP rich person status on our Patreon. The tip top. Uh, and so if you reach that status, then you get to select your own topic. As, in, as long as it's not absolute dog shit, we'll do it. Yeah. For sure. That's right. So what are you guys doing if you haven't joined yet? Yeah, get in there. Come on I know, I'm just trying get to see you know, the free Patreon. <laughs> I mean, I mean the, the free Discord. Yeah. Just okay. be prepared to chat all day yeah, long. Yeah, to chat. <laughs> <laughs> your entire life will be the Discord. It's Excessively. Pretty, <laughs> pretty good community we got yeah. going on. Okay, so Lizzie Borden. Now, we're going to take you back to the late 1800s. Oh, shit. This Ooh. is that old? This is old. Oh, I, th I was thinking like, no, like no, spring this break. Is old. Lizzie Borden. Like, 2023 spring I know, break. I know, she's like on the beach. <laughs> but and I, was trying to, I was trying to figure out what accent to do this in. But you've heard the, the uh, it's like a children's tale. You know, like, a, like, a, a, you know, like a Scottish, like well, Lizzie, Lizzie Borden. So the late 1800s. <laughs> so the late 1800s in like the north uh, east uh, was. Did you like a Boston? It was like British. Well, no, it was, it was almost Victorian. At yeah, that it, was, time. It, was, it was old, right? Yeah, but so, I want to hear you do a Boston. So here it is. Fucking Abba. So Lizzie Borden took an axe and gave her mother forty wax, and when she saw what she had done, she gave her father forty-one. Damn, oh, dude, damn. she's got to be fucking yoked. Forty swings with an axe. Do you know how difficult that shit is? So it's a it's a very famous story. It's one of the most famous stories, and um, and the true fate of the real life Lizzie Borden. Her parents were brutally mur murdered on August fourth, eighteen ninety two. Okay. Each of which, uh, almost thirty. It wasn't so. It wasn't. It, it wasn't. wasn't for, it wasn't. Forty. Yeah, that 41. was for the for the poem. Yeah, for the, for the, like, the, for, the grand, for the Edgar yeah, Allan Poe for the Graham. Yeah, <laughs> for the old the old school Graham poems. Yeah. <laughs> um, but most people don't know the next part of the rhyme, which is close your door and lock and latch it because here comes Lizzie with her hatchet. Yeah. Anyway, so she was put on trial, uh, and then she was acquitted for the trial. Or for the murders. Oh damn! They, Would the, you have the, the, uh, the judicial like system? Was that like Simpson lawyers or what? Know, right? yeah. If the hatchet don't fit, <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 look at her little ass hand. <laughs> you think this little ass hand could carry this hatchet? No, he's like, how many swings was that again? Thirty-eight <laughs> swings. Uh, let, let's come up here. <laughs> give me, give me thirty-eight good swings. With this. <laughs> so it's uh, it, it's not been solved. To this day. Well, it's from the 1800s. I mean, that's yeah, yeah. like the it's oldest cold solved. case. Yeah. I yeah. mean, like, yeah. Right. yeah. So we're going to go into a little bit of what happened, and uh, this is a very famous story in the urban legends. So, uh, so we're, you know. we're going to get hella shit for, like, yeah. not having all the information. Yeah. I, yeah, I can course. already yeah. feel it. Classic. The list, yeah. They're going to be like, well, fucking idiots. Oh, shit. A couple of one-star reviews and a couple yeah. of emails <laughs> later. <laughs> I know. God <laughs> damn it. So Lizzie, not Elizabeth, Andrew Borden, was born July 1860 to Sarah and Andrew Borden. She was the youngest daughter and was preceded by two sisters, Emma Borden and Elise Borden. Hmm? Sadly, Elise passed away from 
fluid buildup in her brain when she was two. Fuck. So by the time Lizzie was just a baby, she'd never even really met her other sister. So it was mm. really just Lizzie and her sister, Emma. And by the age of three, she had lost her mother to uterine congestion and spinal disease. Damn, Damn. this family is like... <laughs> Yeah, oh, they like live and like on top of like a uranium mine. I know. Or something? What's crazy what is that you don't hear those <laughs> demises, <laughs> uterine congestion. I mean, yeah, and even, fluid sorry, build up in mean? your brain. You don't you you don't hear those things normally. Yeah. So it's just kind of strange. This is probably back. This is also in the back of the day of like bloodletting. Yeah, they're like yeah, just like yeah, just yeah. cut them yeah. a little cut. I mean, <laughs> to give you an idea, back yeah, in the give, day, to give you an idea, she was born at the beginning of the Civil War. Wow. Okay. Jesus. So yeah, that's when like. You know, your pain medication was like a wooden spoon that you bite on. <laughs> <laughs> so Emma, about 10 years older than her, uh, would act as the mother figure to her younger sister, Lizzie. Following their mother's death when Lizzie was five, the Borden family, her father, remarried Abby. So the dad remarried a girl named Abby, basically. Okay. Uh, she became the stepmother to Emma and Lizzie. Now, these are the characters of this murder mystery. Set the scene. Yes. So you have the dad, which is Andrew. Okay. You have the sisters, Emma. Uh, and then you have Lizzie, who's the main person. Mm -hmm. And then Abby is the stepmother. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So these are the main people. Oh, okay. This is like, I feel like we're going to solve Clue here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it was, it was fucking... It was Abby in the, in the <laughs> Abby in the front lawn with the, with, with the hatchet. So there's one other party that's involved, which is their maid. Ooh, they had a maid. Were they yeah, rich? Right? They were super rich. Oh, they were. They were hella rich. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. God, so the family lived together along with their na maid named Bridget Sullivan in an estate in Fall River, oh, Massachusetts. Oh, see, I would just waited at the estate. <laughs> yeah, so Fall River is a city in Massachusetts. It's about an hour and a half drive from uh, from Boston. Um, the Boston. city, the city began to boom after the civil war, specifically cotton textile manufacturing. Uh, the, the city was then known as spindle city. That's kind of just what it boomed as, you know, okay. spindles. uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, sweet. The, the population <laughs> at the time maxed out around 75,000. Now to give you an idea, today's population is 93,000. Oh, so it's still so in the 1890s. Town. Yeah. They've only so, gained 20,000 yeah, people. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nothing. By the uh, by, eighteen ninety two, the city was very much still living in uh, the Victorian era. So it was a uh, very European, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, fucking crown set, crown molding, very, you know, the, the chokers and the you yeah. know that kind of you know. It sounds thing. like the, yeah, worst, the worst. Or thing. also, I guess more so, like women were at home, and women were not in the workforce. Women did not have jobs; they well, stayed. I think home. that was a. A universal thing in the 1800s. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just yeah, not yeah. just this town. I'm just kind of trying to everywhere. set the scene, set the scene a little bit of of, of what it was like there. Yeah. Okay. Um, they were having like fucking like tea at high noon and shit. Yeah. The Borden women uh, did not hold any jobs of any kind because the father had acquired a fortune through furniture and manufacturing, property development, textiles. Uh, commercial property ownership, etc. Dude, this guy was fucking in everything. Yeah, was, this, this is a mogul. He was rolling. Hustler. To give you an idea... <laughs> he was like to killing give you, it. To give you an idea of the wealth, Andrew, his estate at the time of his death was fa valued at 300 grand. Today, it's 10 million. Dude. Wow. Fucking, so he was especially like, doing well. Dude, being worth like 300 Gs back in the 1800s, I mean, he was probably like... Fucking Lord Byron. Yeah. <laughs> he was, like, he was doing he well. in the town. He was doing well. Now, he was what was considered a uh, penny pincher millionaire. I feel uh, like a lot. Like I a... feel like, mo like, even look at a... Frugal. Yeah. 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 But, but even, like, uh, what's his face? He um, he owned Standard Oil. Rockefeller? Yeah. Oh, yeah. J.D. Rockefeller was, like, supposedly, like, notorious. He accounted yeah. for every cent that yeah. he ever spent. Like, Correct. Could you get, like, bazillions? He's like, no, yeah. fuck it. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's why I'm not rich. <laughs> I'm like, what's what's I another? What's going on? <laughs> How many Miller Lights yeah. did you buy? I, I mean, does it yeah. really matter? Yeah. Like, yeah. am I really counting? Do you really need Uber Eats again? <laughs> <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> like, I got a coupon code. I know. It's I like, got a coupon code. Fine. Fine. It was like Bogo, yeah, fifteen percent off. Yeah. I'll take yeah. it. Thirty dollars for a burrito. I know. It's like it's the deal. Yeah. Despite the fortune that Andrew Borden had built, the family lived in a modest house called Maplecraft. Uh, the house was about 3,000 square feet. So it was 
bigger. It's a big house. Yeah. Um, like it's bigger than my house. I mean, three thousand square feet is like yeah. double my house. Yeah, yeah that's huge. Yeah, it's a big house. But at the time, <laughs> they were like the mansion, the Victorian. Yes, fuck, kind of normal. Yeah, like, especially up kind north. Of they have different houses. The yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, three stories. Fucking, it's ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. So while the the size of the home was not small, it was not a symbol of wealth at the time. Okay. Right. Uh, they lived in an industrial part of town, and their living situation was not comparable to the same. Like they weren't in the the nice part of town. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. They weren't in the rich. I think Andrew was a little yes. too penny pinching. He's like, we're yes. living in the hood. Fuck <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> Other wealthy wealthy families, including Borden relatives, resided in a small community of town called The Hill. Mm. And this is where the Borden girls would constantly beg their father to move there too. Because he could. And he could he could own it, but he was like, you know, we don't need to. We, uh, cause is it a need up... or a want? Yes. I mean, like... <laughs> he was very much like that. and he. Didn't... I know you like those Richardson boys over there. <laughs> <What ain't going? laughs> and he just, he was a, uh, he grew up poor. So he was like, I'm never going to do that again. Oh, yeah. Mm. So he's like, he's like, I'm not going to fuck it up. Yes. yes. You know, some of my interests fail. Yes. And then we're yes. trapped in this big That's ass house. Right. For clothes. So to give you some ideas, <laughs> yeah. uh, in a 3,000 square foot house, he refused to get plumbing. <laughs> this guy what? was okay. This guy wasn't a frugal. This now, guy was a piece now of weirdo. Now, plumbing was kind of new, so it okay. wasn't it wasn't like it is today, where right. you know. But he, you know, he's like, I have a perfectly uh, good yes. outhouse. Yes. What's the problem yes. here? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. So, um, uh, so for example, when Andrew converted their home, he stripped the existing plumbing that the family would uh, previously relied on and changed it into a well house and hand pumps. In the kitchen and in the cellar. Oh, oh so wow. he took the plumbing out. He took the old, like, like rusted up plumbing uh, out, okay. and then he's like, I thought, I "We don't they had, need like this. a brand spanking new like plumbing system." He's like, "Get that shit out of here." He's like, "We don't need this luxury." <laughs> he built a new house, and he's like, "No, no, 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 Put it on market. I don't need septic. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> so the women, though, of the family. Put it, put it on, sorry, put it on marketplace. <laughs> he's like selling it. I've got two pounds of copper here. Yeah, fucking copper, man. So the women of the family were constantly nagging him, saying this, like, we're living in squalor and we're rich, but we're not. Typical wife. So you would have to go. Right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> She's been wearing the same dress for like three years. But then they would have to go to like the opera and then they'd have to see all those rich people that they were rich too. Mm. And they would be like, yeah, it's really, uh, we took a, you, we the water in the back with the well house and then we have to bring it to the, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's, it's also, little... you're, you're probably seeing people that you're richer than. Yes. Like you have more money than and yes. they're like balling over you and yes. like they roll up in like the, yeah. And like the the hatchback like Honda Civic nineteen yeah. like nineteen ninety two yeah. <laughs> and then like everyone else in like Bentleys. But to lay out the strange element in their house, um, Emma and Lizzie never married. They never got a job. Well, um, I mean, probably the whole well, job was not a thing. Yeah, but yeah, yeah to they get never married. married either. But the homies probably didn't want to come over to yeah. no plumbing. Yeah, that's true. And you know they're not going to get like a dowry. <laughs> so, like they fucking so good, <laughs> good pinch over good here. Good point. So they did receive an allowance. Um, they received about a two hundred dollars a year each. <laughs> okay. Uh, which was about seven grand then. Okay. But but I think still seven grand then was probably still a lot. Yeah. yeah. I think it was yeah. probably still like a lot. Yeah, for an allowance. Yeah. No, I mean, but I mean like thirty years old. No, I mean like just in general, it was probably yeah. still a lot. Yeah, they yeah, could yeah, probably yeah. bought a house for like seven k. Yeah. yeah. No, no, he's saying seven grand now. They they got seven grand bucks. now. They got two hundred dollars a year. Oh, so it's the equivalent of seven grand. Yeah, that's but, right. But see, that's why I also think that the the calculation is a little bit different because yeah. even though it is, it's like your buying power. It is I the guess. yeah the yeah, buying yeah, power yeah, of yeah, seven yeah, grand. Yeah, like yeah. the equivalent then, I probably is, you know, because back then, even though it's like oh you do the you do that factor, it's probably still like that's yeah you can buy that's you can question. buy you can buy like an acre of land for like five bucks if so, you own with today's nothing, inflation it would be like seventy grand then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're, yeah they're like they're like middle class yeah. like, <laughs> well so if you had no rent no car oh there are other no rich. nothing no <laughs> anything uh seven grand horses are paid for you got <laughs> no, but carriages. look at it in terms of <laughs> look that is the inflation two hundred dollars to seven grand right? yeah so yeah. If you had nothing though, and you guys no other bills, it's basically nothing. just spending, Zero. spending cash, spending cash, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. petty cash, yeah. <laughs> petty cash. <laughs> so Andrew Borden over the years also began to allocate some of his properties to his wife and family members. After receiving complaints, uh, he gave them their child his childhood home to satisfy them. But wasn't he poor? It was like a fucking shanty. No, he's not poor. He, no, 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 he now. had no, properties when he, grew, when he grew up though. Oh, and you said yes. you said when he grew up, he was poor. So he's like, "I'll give you the home I grew yep. up in," and it's like a fucking, it's like a, one of like the tin, <laughs> little like the tin sighting. But we have like, the numbers. Oh, yeah. I'll Actually, give you the outhouse. Yeah, I know. It's like, I love my second best bed for <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, for my yeah, daughter yeah, Shakespeare. 
Uh, but so here are the numbers. We actually have the numbers. So, oh, shit. so they uh, he gave them the the house, mm-hmm. right? And then they sold it immediately. <laughs> they were like, "Fuck this <laughs> house! Fuck yep. this fucking house, Dad!" They sold it for five grand, and guess who they sold it to? Him. They oh, sold it back wow. to him. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, There's like some weird tax write-off that he did. He's like, yeah. oh, I'm going like, to take the loss, yeah. and then I'm going to get it back. <laughs> like, so based on inflation, it was 170 grand for the house. I can't so believe they he got, bought it back. They got 80 grand each, give or take. He refuses That's to actually, because he, he probably, like as a principal, he couldn't give them that money. Yeah. He's yeah. like, I can't yeah. just give you five grand. Yeah, yeah. Instead, yeah. I'm going to make it. And you. he's like, this is a good deal. <laughs> he's like, five G's. like, damn, you know how much I'm, I would have paid way more than that. <laughs> now... Strangely enough, this happened about a month before the murders. Okay. Oh, they were probably pissed. I mean, this is this is shaping Something. up to they're yeah. like, fucking yep. dad's got to go, and yep. then you know stepmom, she's a bitch anyways. Get, yeah. She's gonna go to. So apparently, despite the financial uh, annoyances and you know complaining, la la la, apparently he and Lizzie had a good relationship. Okay. Okay. Now. I watched multiple movies on this, and uh, there's a lot of research, and we're going to post some of the research that uh, Caprice did with the references. We actually have a lot of the books and a lot of the, a lot of different things that we got this for. Uh, each story is told differently. Hmm. Some, pe- some movies, some documentaries, some things say they had a horrible relationship and that he was essentially raping oh. The, oh. the maid. Oh, well, oh. oh, I mean, I'm sorry. I thought it was about to turn I made, made, I was like, like, made. And I know I was like, oh, thank God. Like, you know, but it's, I, <laughs> Still it bad. sucks for the Still maid. Yeah. So, but all these things, so there's, but half of these stories don't bring that up. And half of these stories, you can't corroborate that. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, there's also like, yeah, no, there's no half. witnesses alive right now. Right. <laughs> but from what we can tell in, in the trial, they had a good relationship or a meet, like a, Decent relationship. Hey, well, of course, and, of course, Lizzie? Uh, him, and Liz, him and Lizzie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. In the trial, Lizzie's yeah. like, oh, "Me and my dad, we yeah. were best friends." Like, of course, I'd say of that course. shit too. <laughs> so, in the trial, Lizzie was proud of their relationship and even cited the story that she was give. She gave him a ring when he she was twelve, and that was the only piece of jewelry he was wearing when he was killed. Cause she, cause she put it on his ass. <laughs> I mean, that's super. Like, she had it. Like, she like, yeah. you go, daddy. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, so. Now, Bridget. Bridget is the maid. Okay. 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 So, and at that time, this is how fucking ruthless this is at the time. I'm going to say, like, you sure Bridget's not on the come up? Like, so, the fuck this rich guy? So, what they go. used to do is, because they didn't want to remember the names of maids that were coming and going. Oh, wow. So, okay. all the maids were called Maggie. Oh, I thought they were everybody's gonna, called Maggie. I thought they were going to call them, like, dog's name, like, Fido, get oh, over here. Like, everybody's <laughs> called Maggie. So, she was known as Maggie. But that wasn't her name. What's her, her actual her name? Bridget. Bridget. Okay. Is that I fucked fucking, up? That I thought that was fucked up. Of, uh, you ever seen that TV show or TV series? <sighs> what the fuck is it called? It's, it's on Hulu. It's about like these girls. 12 Years a Slave? No, I don't know no. It, 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 um, hold on. Yeah. It's about this girl that, or this, um, <laughs> the girls get taken for uh, reproduction only. And like, so I never saw that. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Handmaid's Tale. I never tale. saw that. But oh, it's I, I really good, about, bro. Really? Yeah. It's so amazing. that kind of reminds, so everybody, yeah. Yeah. all those girls. All those girls uh, would get the last name of yeah. the guy, you know. So like they, they, they didn't have their got, own name. Yeah. I just kinda oh remember. yeah, there was like yeah. Uh, like, I just uh, kind of reminded yeah, me. Yeah, like of Fred. Yeah, uh, of Fred. Fred and of. I gotta be honest. The... I gotta be honest. Girls had it rough. Dude, yeah. they did. Yeah. Ladies had it rough. Yeah. They just had it super. And shout out to the ladies. Hey. Yeah. hey. Some fucked up shit. I know. <laughs> In all of our 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 episodes and stories, it's always and the lady the girl getting killed off and <laughs> and the yeah. ladies have it like rough now too. It's like <laughs> they do. It's you no. Know, it's like not like from the same stand. It's like yeah. different now. It's like now it's like good luck in sports, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like you know. I I might yeah yeah. Anyways, yeah. We'll, so Bridget was off, <laughs> so Bridget refer, was referred to as Maggie by the Bordens, and uh, she lived in the attic. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, she had a pleasant relationship with the Borden family. Um, you know, a few minor spots here and there. Now, in a couple of the movies and a couple of the documentaries, she was raped by the dad. Yeah. Um, I can't tell if it was true or not. Oh, I mean, it's also yeah, fucking almost you know, 200 years yeah, ago. So yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, but it's like we always say: a couple of 
A couple of people saying the same know, thing. More than know, one. Is it, a, is it there's coincidence a, there's now? A, there's I mean, he definitely wasn't going to pay for hookers. We know that. He's yeah. super uh, cheap. True. There's, a, true. there's a movie that came out with um, Kristen Stewart. Stewart? Um, you know the girl from uh, yeah uh, yeah the no, vampire from Twilight. movie yeah, yeah the yeah. vampire movie oh, yeah, and yeah. Chloe Sav- Savannah and um, she's fully raped like half the movie she's raped by the dad in the movie oh it's about it's it's, a, it's called Lizzie oh and, it's, it's about it, and okay. half the movie is her just being raped yeah by but that's dad. also like Hollywood yeah, yeah. yeah. I like, know they're it's trying to like rough the feathers know. yeah. yeah. Additionally, whole another agenda, a, whole another episode. Hold now. Ad, <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> additionally, in that movie, and it's not really uh, confirmed, but additionally in that movie, there was a, a lesbian affair between Lizzie and the maid. Oh, so maybe uh, so it's like more alibi, more yeah, more more, like, more ammunition on, for crazy. Lizzie. I don't know about that. You gonna yeah, rape that, my that, girlfriend? That sounds, like, that sounds like I know. Right there. I know. It does. Sound I, like I mean, if you do watch it, don't watch it with kids. Yeah. Just as an FYI. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, who would... Good to know. I mean, who wants to watch the Lizzie Borden X murder movie with their kids anyways, <laughs> whether, Eric? Whether that scene point. comes out <laughs> or not. Point. That's a I solid know. point. Just the premise of the movie alone. <laughs> I stand corrected. You're like, hey, come here, boys. Uh, yeah. So this one, this one's about a family, <laughs> lovely family. So while... <laughs> they're, they're affluent. <laughs> Today's history lesson. <laughs> I know. It's like, don't blink. Open your eyes. <laughs> yeah, we got a fucked up household over mine. <laughs> I know. <laughs> So, uh, even though the other people say there was, there was a cordial relationship like between everybody, the one that continually uh, comes up as a problem is with Lizzie and the stepmother. Mm. Okay. Classic. The classic, yeah, yeah, the yeah. classic battle. Yeah. And, mm. and apparently it was so... Uh, tense. Tense that they didn't even call her mom. They didn't call her by her name. They just said Mrs. Borden. Oh wow! Ooh, that's even. Uh, oh man, yeah. that would that would fucking piss me yeah. off. Yeah. So I mean, you know, your mom dies, and then another woman comes, and you know, she's in line. I I don't want to bring it back to money, but mm. she's in that line now to no, get she's all your money. Inherit, inherit that, and you're all you're being uh, uh, pressed down on the finances constantly. Yeah. So like, even at like, even there's no payoff at the end of the rainbow. Yeah. yeah. Even so, I'm yeah. like, it, well, I guess I'm. I'm thinking like the fucking job, you lazy asshole. But like, <laughs> there was no job back then. Ago. I know, yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> now, right. to, to be fair though, uh, Bridget found a job. Oh, that's what? Meaning, no, she was the maid. Oh, oh that's a good well, point. So you, you, but she, but she you, mean, like, you mean Maggie? Maggie, uh, okay. Bridget Maggie. Yeah, I was like, who's Bridget? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh, <laughs> like, uh, my maid's I, I, name's Maggie. Bridget. I, I, I know zero people by the name of Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but like, you know, she found a job. No, but to them, like, this is not my. Ah, this is point. not my belief. But to them, yeah. she's like lowborn. Like, I see. Yeah, she's she's a servant. Like, why would they yeah. reduce themselves to servitude? Servant. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Okay. The rich. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ish. So <laughs> while while the tension in the house seemed high, it's not abnormal that your kids are mad at you know about the money and the stepmama and you know it seems like a I mean, basic. These are the classic yeah, family yeah, problems. Yeah. Now some rumors stated that he didn't believe in electricity either. <laughs> this fucking guy. Is like, Jeez, so hey, if man. you could imagine, he don't believe in food either. Yeah. But. <laughs> no, I was like no. I mean, if you, if you could imagine in the summers of being in Massachusetts and you're in a 3,000 square foot house and you have no plumbing, so you have to get water outside. You got to walk outside in your corset, take a and shit. Obviously, you have no air conditioning. Oh, obviously, of course. right? What? And, and then no heat. Like oh, with furnace? Did yeah, they at least have a furnace. Fur- Jesus, good question. <laughs> he don't believe in fire. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe in uh, excess heat in the house. But in addition, that rumor of like their house was always dark. That's the rumor. Right, their house was always dark, so it was candles. candles. Yeah. No, it was just <laughs> candles, and it, so there was no electricity. Yeah. So you can imagine the living environment is a little. I mean, that's how, yeah, that's the worst. Sounds, like I mean, you got money, but you got to live like you don't have yes. money. It sounded like that's this guy. It sounded like this guy's got to go. Yeah, <laughs> like he's got. This guy's got to go. Yeah, it is worse. It is, right, because like, at least we're, we're don't fucking you spend shit. Yeah, like we're impoverished. Yeah. So we're not sure where it all kind of came from. Uh, Abby, which is the stepmom, she got a bigger inheritance or a bigger allowance and inheritance. Okay. So, but, but you got to keep I mean, in mind, that, by that, this time, the girls are 30 years old. But isn't, well, I mean, inheritance, so then she get, then she's she going to get all of it. No, but then she, get, oh, she will, she would she have. She would get all of it. But she got killed, though. 
Yes. Correct. Okay, that's why I was like, say like, yeah. wait, what? But she also had a bigger inheritance, and you got to keep in mind the girls are now thirty plus. Okay. This is and not a. This is not a girls. These are women. And you're yeah, still yeah, like, yeah. and you're yeah, still li- kids. Yeah. And you're living. Kids. You're living yes. at home. You're like, yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So what we do know is that Lizzie was seemingly unhappy in their living situation. She begged her father for a larger home on the hill, a larger allowance, and was often seen in town with sticky fingers. Now, oh, stealing she shit? created a the reputation. What? Sticky fingers? Sticky like fingers. St- stealing stuff. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. fingers are so she oh, created yeah, a reputation where she would go into town, and then things would go missing, and then literally the, the shop owners would just bill the dad. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's no one's <laughs> like, oh, it's fucking Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> we lost more China here. there, Bill, yes. or whatever the fuck his name is. Yes, that's oh. right. Anthony, yep. Edward, yep. what is his name? Antonio? Andrew. 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 Joaquin. Joaquin. (laughs) So Lizzie was also a little unhappy about some of her pet pigeons that she was keeping in her barn. Okay. One day, a couple months, about three months before the murders, she found them all dead. Uh, And this was killed with a hatchet. Oh, man. Oh, wow. This is just set in the And it turned out that it was her dad who hatcheted all the pigeons because he said because uh, he didn't want kids hunting the pigeons in his property. So he's like, so instead, he, so he kills them instead of sets them free. Good question. <laughs> I, I mean, first this of all, infuriated how do you catch, Lizzie, how do you catch a pigeon? Of course. Oh, uh, they in like little tight cages because like yeah, no, they're like doves and like little. Oh, you know, I was like, expecting like yeah. a, a big bird cage. I'm like. It would take me four hours. To catch actually, that the, actually, there was a, a great Reddit article I read about how pigeons have gotten a bad rap. For being like the rats of the from, sky, from like the media. You ever heard because, about? Because because you, you about, know like, it's you a never difference. See a baby pigeon? You ever heard about no. that? No, it's so true. Yeah, <laughs> probably because they're like all you never like, see a baby pigeon because there ain't yeah. flying around. <laughs> well, no. Here's here's the idea: is is that um, what's the difference between a pigeon and a dove? Mm. Nothing. Oh, the color. Nothing. PR. They're the same. Really? Yes. But the, the, but the French eat pigeons. Isn't that crazy? So they're not getting that no, bad color, right? That was, the, that was the whole, was white. But yeah, but they're all white and black and like mm. mixed. But it, but the whole Reddit article was maybe this, great. Maybe this goes was, deeper. Yeah. yeah. It was, yeah. White, it was about a, white is right. It was about the media. <laughs> all, these, all these brown pigeons, <laughs> these black pigeons out here. Like, How come I mean, we don't I, ever see no brown I'm pigeons? Sure, I'm sure I'm, I'm going to get... <laughs> no, they got, they got the like, genocide. They all got fucking killed off. <laughs> Why did this turn into racial, racial pigeons? <laughs> <laughs> all these Asian pigeons over here, brother. I've never <laughs> seen an a- a- Asian pigeon. I know. That's been a long time, brother. <laughs> they, got, they got the Knicks. Uh, so, Anyways. so she was, uh, uh so the furious. dad go crazy. She yeah. was furious. Yeah. Um, and it led to her and Emma, her sister taking a two week trip away from home. Uh, but <laughs> give us some money for the trip. Dad. But yeah. the theories <laughs> are, the theories are this haunted her forever because, um, later on in life, it, she, when she died, she left all her money to the humane society. Oh, wow. Okay. So I don't know. Take are that they, as you will. Are they really taking um, care of the pigeons? Though? Yeah. Take I've never, not, not, a, not a one time have I seen a humane yeah. society give a shit about a pigeon. No. So there's, there's <laughs> other theories that perhaps that her father disapproved, disapproved of her love affairs. Um, mm. but we don't, we don't know who they were with. Damn it. Uh, a good, a good, you know, good so it's hard here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. Um, there's no proof of this. Some historians believe that Lizzie may have had a child of incest and oh. inappropriate li- relationships with her father, Oof. with Andrew. Really so we don't know. Um, but again, it's not confirmed. Um, another, another piece of well, tension. Well, is it confirmed that she had a child? We just don't know if it was. No. Okay. It's but, none of that. But is it confirmed that she had, you had understand, sex like, out of wedlock? So, I mean, so, like, so what happened is, is, uh, th- these murders happened and then it became the hottest topic of the decade. Like okay. it became newspaper articles, you know, the, the poem happened, the, you know, the rhymes, the, mm. you know, stay away, you know, the hatchet, the murders. It was and, like the you know, 1800s blah, blah, blah. OJ yes. trial. Yeah. Oh, man. People, yes. Uh, I couldn't. <laughs> Absolutely. Really? Yes. One people are like percent. waiting yeah. next to the newsstand like, yeah. well, give me those fucking papers out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see what's going on with this shit. Uh, another weird part of this story is that one year before the murders, the Borden home was broken into. Uh, $50 was stolen from Abby's wallet. Some jewelry went missing. Uh, no signs of forced entry. Uh, happened in broad daylight. Uh, they were all home. Nobody it saw happened while they were all home. They were yes. all home? What the so fuck? The da- fuck? So the cops came. They started investigating. And then Andrews just said, don't worry about it because he thinks it's Lizzie. 
Sticky I mean, that, that's sticky, what I thought. She was like, fingers, sticky sticky fingers. I don't know what happened. My entire $200 yeah. yearly allowance was missing. <laughs> I didn't know, $200. <laughs> yeah, like, but, come on, Dad, replace it. But from what we can tell, uh, Lizzie just lived a normal life. She went to church, uh, Sunday school. She was the secretary of treasury for the Christian Endeavor Society. Uh, you know, she was just a normal, just seemed like a normal girl. I mean, this is all taking from the trial. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's her, her lawyers say, were like, yeah, yeah. She yeah. was an upstanding citizen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So August, everyone, they know it. Like you watch Forensic Files, they're like, she was loved by everyone. Yeah. And I, I, I know. Then I bring that up in and one she's of the like episodes. Smoking crack on like, <laughs> on like fucking. I'm pretty sure. I like, I like, yeah, you did. You did. Because I, I like talking to my wife. I'm like, I'm like, out. were they all that great? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm not saying no. they deserve to die, but no, I agree with you. I would like a more true story. They're yeah. like, I fucking hated him. He sucked. Okay, so August 4th, 1892. This is the day. Okay. Yeah? Uh, Fall River was in the middle of a summer record heat wave. Okay. No AC, no electricity, no plumbing, no plumbing Jesus nothing. Christ. Yeah. Getting all hot and bothered. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. Wearing, I, I go into like fucking road rage yeah. when I get in my truck here and the AC is not know, kicking right? in yet. Oh, my God. <laughs> I had that so, rage today. <laughs> <laughs> so the Bordens had a guest, and the guest was John Morris, and he was the uncle to Lizzie. So he was Andrew's brother, yeah? Yeah. Uh, or the mom's. It could have been. It was, yeah, it was Andrew's okay. brother. And so he stayed over the night before, and he left early in the morning. He was there on a business meeting to meet with Andrew. Um, and to, something. Some cash. You know, well, uh, some people say he was trying to, like, he was worried about his estate, and he wanted to make sure it went to him before the family. What a fucking These dude. are all weird mysteries. Listen, and hey, weird, yeah, you know, yeah. why was he there? You've known me a lot longer than those girls Besides of being yours. His brother. <laughs> Besides being his brother. Good point. I'm going to go with that one. This is his brother visiting. A fucking what? poor guy. It's like just, hey, man, I just wanted to come in for August weekend. <laughs> and I was like, hey, yeah. well, he had a business meeting with his brother. Yeah. That's why it's like the business is like, yeah. hear me out. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to want to miss out on this one. <laughs> I just need two hundred dollars up front. So, but it was I got this confirmed. New app. I want you to invest <laughs> in. <laughs> it's called got, it's called Instant Gram. <laughs> trust me, trust me on this one. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You're gonna love this shit. Uh, <laughs> okay, so he uh, it is confirmed that he left in the morning. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's a little sketch. Yeah. Do they have fucking cars back so, then? No. No. Okay, that's what I'm like. 1890. Yeah, he was like, yeah, no. Horse and buggy. Galloped yeah. off. Yeah, in the horse and buggy. I think yeah, the yeah. Carriage. Ford came out in like 1920, I think. Yeah, somewhere around there. Ish. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Bridget. Maggie. Maid. Yeah, Maggie. 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 Like, Bridget. Maggie prepared a breakfast. The maid formerly known as Maggie. Prepared a, a breakfast. Uh, it was mutton broth, Johnny cakes, coffee, and cookies. <laughs> Dude, yeah. mutton broth sounds fire. Now, bro. in the I, trial. What's mutton broth? Mutton is like, is like sheep. Yeah. Mutton yeah. or mud and? Mutton. 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 Oh. This is what they Might call as well be the mud the and, though. Machine. You know. Yeah. Whatever mud, happened to some mud. nice, like, classic <laughs> tacos, you like know, breakfast uh, tacos. Like, breakfast like, tacos. Oh, what the fuck? This, this, is, like, this is mutton. New England. Let me have some mutton and a side of bacon with that. <laughs> what the I don't think they had breakfast tacos. Whatever happened to breakfast tacos? Like, this was, like, all the rage. They're in fucking Santa Fe. Like, they're fucking, like, Boston. Now, fair, fair. Now, in the trial. There's no Mexicans living in <laughs> Boston. Know, I know. Like, trust me, they have not migrated that far yeah. north yet. So, now, keep in mind, in the trial, she said that she threw up 15 minutes after eating one of the cookies. Mm. Are we trying to say okay. it's poison? No, there's or? just data. That's okay. just the information, okay? Okay. She's pregnant. Okay. Oh. So, Mr. Morris left after the first meal, and the day began for the Borden. So, he left. So, he, he had didn't breakfast. Right he after least, breakfast. He had breakfast, yeah. though. But keep in mind, they have breakfast at like six. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, this it, is not... at dawn. <laughs> yeah. Hurry up before <laughs> the sun comes up. Yeah. <laughs> before it gets hot and yeah. shit. <laughs> true. <laughs> like... But then they got no lights, so. No. <laughs> so, That's they got to eat in the dark. <laughs> it's so confusing. <laughs> it's like, what time is it? <laughs> no. Dinner in Alaska. And breakfast in Alaska. <laughs> so, per reports, Andrew left around 9 a.m. Okay. Okay. Yeah. While Abby dusted and went upstairs to make the bed in the guest room, Bridget went to clean the exterior windows of the house. So Abby is the stepmom. Okay. She went to dust and make the bed of the guest room that Damn, they got uncle. Abby, they got Abby yeah. doing that. They have like an estates guy? Like Abby doing like the outdoor? No, no, Abby, Abby was doing upstairs. 
Maggie was. No, that's what I mean. Maggie was doing. That's what yeah. I mean. Like okay. they no, don't no, have. They don't have like an estates guy. They're like, no, she's Maggie, get all on, of it. Get on the roof. She's sweep the fucking leaves yeah. off. Get a rope and wash the windows. <laughs> get a rope. She's gonna pull yourself. Yeah. And, later, and later tonight, yeah. just replace yeah. the roof. I haven't, yeah. <laughs> While you're at it. Yeah. You know that fence on the on the east <laughs> yeah. side of the property is yeah. looking a little shitty. <laughs> P.S. The only thing I do to wash the windows is a fucking hose. Just. At I least, don't like at get least out you do there that. Wait, rope you, wait, you wash the windows? <laughs> I know, right? At least I was you do like, that. what are you talking about? I have no idea what you mean. Uh, okay, so Bridget went to clean the exterior windows of the house, telling Lizzie that she needn't lock the door, but you can lock it if you want to. Since she had to use the hand pump that was in the barn for the fresh water. That's a okay. weird statement. Why would you even say that? You don't have to lock the door. But you can. Yeah, that's Why weird. are you even talking? Okay. What the that's f- from the maid. Okay. Yeah. Just call her Maggie, by the way. No, no, please. I, 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 I get so confused. Bridget, Sorry, shit. Yeah, yeah, Maggie. During this time, it's unclear what Lizzie was doing. She said that she was in the dining room ironing handkerchiefs, <laughs> or she may have been in the kitchen reading a magazine, or <laughs> maybe she was reading a jur- or in a journal, or maybe she or was maybe. upstairs in her room. Or with maybe laundry. she was in town. Uh, basting tape on clothes. She didn't know. I mean, first of all, I mean, how fucking bored must you have get back and like before you can like this like mindlessly scroll? I think I'll iron some handkerchiefs. I know. In the, in the, <laughs> I think I'll just, uh, now. Like, apparently, though, this is per testimony in the trial. Now, apparently, though, in during trial, she was uh, like in a cage or she was locked up, right? <laughs> in oh, a cage. Yeah. yeah, because she was on trial for just murder, like her right? pigeon. And apparently she was on, like, they were giving her sedatives. Why? She was crazy and, like, or, like, she was uh, uh, distraught. Mm. Anxious. Anxious. Anxiety yes. medicine. No, it's actually so, part, it's, probably, it's probably part of her defense. They're like, we're going to dope you. So like, uh, we're claiming her, crazy. Yeah. I know. They're like, look at her. She can't, bitch can't even talk. I, I, but <laughs> now, <laughs> so that <laughs> sometimes maybe justifies her being kind of like a uh, lack of memory. She just uh, gave stuttering. She gave uh, five potential options for what yes. she was doing that morning. Yeah, but <laughs> if you're like on some shit, you know. But I mean, how, have you you're ever, not going to remember. Have you ever been that fucked up, though? Well, you thought you could have been doing five different no, things? No, but I've never been behind a cage on trial, so. Yeah, that's know. a really great point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I want to just say too. cell. I don't think it was a cage. I know. Yeah. Eric makes it sound yeah, like she's yeah. like the fucking oh, zoo. Yeah, you kind of made it. <laughs> like, no, like, you made it sound like in the courtroom. Yeah, I know. She's, she's just like, in a cage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the 1800s. Yeah, no, it's yeah. crazy. Anything, She's actually anything like a, goes. They like a noose around her neck just in case. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, so if you get found, it's instant, <laughs> instant death. So here's what we know: uh, somewhere between 9 a.m. and 10:30 a.m., Abby, the stepmom, was brutally murdered with the hatchet totaling 18 strikes. Wait, 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 wait. Say the time again. 9:30 to 10:30. No, 9, 9 to 10:30. 10 10 okay. So the uncle left at nine. And all we know is somewhere between nine and ten thirty. Eighteen but, wax. But wait, where was where was the where's the sister at this time? The sister left. She went into town. Okay, she's got an alibi. Well, she, yeah, does she, she does have an alibi. Okay, well, like was yeah. she she seen? Was she? Or... Yeah, yeah, she was. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she stole yeah, one of the yeah. China That's why plates. She was not charged actually. <laughs> oh, because she just... she left and she went into town. God, good. For th- yeah. at, least, at least somebody fucking yeah. got it. <laughs> so really, we're just talking about Lizzie. Yep, and possibly the uncle. Possibly. Possibly the uncle and uh, the maid. Oh, the maid, too. I forgot about the maid. She was like, you make me Kay. wash these fucking windows one yep. more time. <laughs> and where's the dad? He's about to get killed. Yeah, but where? The dad wasn't there. He went to do an errand. He- well, hey, hang tight. We're, okay. we're going to keep God. going. Yeah, yeah. We're going to okay. keep Damn going. Damn it, Horace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I thought I was about to ask the same thing. So based, <laughs> fuck is he based on the location of the wounds, experts believe that she was tending to the base of the bed. So you know when you're putting the sheet down oh, yeah. in the corner, oh, you're okay. bending oh, yeah. over... La, la, la. She was on her knees. I got to make that shit so hard? Fucking complicated to put that shit on. So she was on her knees when her attacker approached. She turned to face them, was killed with the first hit. Then she was Ooh. hit 17 times Ooh. after she died. That's like a crap of passion. That's, that's rage. That's, yeah. that's oh, rage. Passionate rage. With a hatchet. I mean, you got to be s- smothered in blood. Like, when they found Lizzie, was this bitch literally just drenched Very good from question. head to toe in blood? Good We're gonna question. get to that. We're gonna Hold get to on that. a second. I know, We're right? Maybe she like when she went so, to like the water pump and like fucking <laughs> uh, wash herself. Off. Take a shower outside. <laughs> I know, right? So let's not forget. So at nine o'clock after breakfast, Andrew left too. Andrew left to do like uh, an appointment 
outside of the house. The dad. Yeah, yeah the, the dad. dad. Okay. Yeah. By 1045, Andrew Borden returned home. The door was locked. He's like, what the fuck? We don't lock door. I, he's and like, he I have a lock. Raging. On, I have like, a lock on this door. I'm locked him out of my own home. Who the fuck locked yes. me out of my house? At this point, Bridget was cleaning the interior windows near the front door and hurried to unlatch it. AKA she unlocked Maggie. the first lock. She unlocked the first lock, but the second lock had been latched as well. So you know you have the turn yeah. and then you uh, have so the she didn't want it. She like went back yes. to her business. And he's yeah. like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Great, you so, more. <laughs> so Maggie struggled with the deadbolt and Thank cursed you. out in uh, in like uh, frustration. And she said that at that moment she heard Lizzie laughing upstairs. Mm. Damn. Lizzie though says she had been downstairs and that she greeted her father and watched as he took off his coat and shoes as they were downstairs in the sitting room where he was going to take a nap. So conflicting After all that rage, no. Conflicting reports. Yeah, I mean like trust me when I like get like a little ragey, it's You're not going to take a nap. No, I need like a 30 minute like multiple cigarette break to like to cool <laughs> down and then I can go take a nap. <laughs> So again, so Lizzie says that she was downstairs greeting father. Maggie's like Maggie says that she struggled with the the deadbolt, cussed, and heard Lizzie upstairs laughing. Meanwhile, Dad is like furious, yep. sweating bullets. Right. Let me in my goddamn. Yeah, and then we were saying we were saying like smoke break. Rage. Oh yeah, yeah. I need to like yes, yes, exactly. uh, take it down. And down. Nah, yeah, because we were a little bit ahead of that. So he. Uh, so Lizzie though says that she was downstairs. She greeted her father and watched as he took his coat off and shoes, and then they, he was going to take a nap. He asked then where Abby was, the stepmom, and she told him that a messenger stopped by with a letter from a friend in town who was sick, so that she left. Right. Okay. A story that would never be proven. Now this the is friend again, never from, came from forward, the trial. From the trial. So, so in the trial, the the friend never came forward. The messenger she also didn't was never leave because she was fucking right, dead. Right. She's in the house dead. She said Perjurer. though. No, here's what she said. <laughs> Lizzie said that she thought she went out, <clears throat> but she hadn't given any other details about it. Like, yeah, so I don't she know. She just didn't know. She just, yeah. you know. I mean, clearly her lawyers are, are like. I don't know how she afforded these lawyers uh, on, on her meager <laughs> on her meager two hundred dollars a year <laughs> fucking allowance, but my god, these, these they were killing the game. But uh, Maggie or Bridget was unable to corroborate that part of the story, as she said she didn't see anyone enter or leave the home despite working outside majority of the day on the windows and you know that sort of thing. He shrugged it off and he laid down on the couch, <laughs> and it would be the last thing that he did. <laughs> Fuck. Coroners estimated that he was murdered between ten thirty. And 1110. Yeah? Okay. His face had been completely collapsed in as the attacker delivered 10 blows to his head. Oh, the first blow what was likely to be the one that killed him. Damn. His eye had also been cleanly sliced in half by the hatchet. Oh, oh my. They, why did they gotta even tell us that? Like, meaning, this is unnecessary. Meaning the coroner suggests that he was most likely asleep when he was first attacked and couldn't defend himself. Oh, because otherwise like, it wouldn't be clean. Either. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They bobbing and weaving. <laughs> Bridget had been in her room in the attic of the house after she became ill from what she said was spoiled food and heat exhaustion. Yeah, from like, uh -huh. I mean, well, I mean, she was outside fucking cleaning those windows, bro, in like a dress. Maggie said that she didn't hear anything suspicious. During this time, Lizzie said that she was on the second floor of the barn. Okay. Looking uh -huh. for fishing lure supplies for a trip that nobody knew about. Look for fish. She's going she, on a bass fishing trip. She also she said that she ate, she also said she ate three pears. Okay, wow, dude. How, what pears? kind of sedatives was pears, she like on? A pear? What the fuck? It's just it's just so non secular. I know okay. she's like, and uh, I like tootsie rolls. Uh, so, 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 yeah. <laughs> Around eleven ten or eleven fifteen, okay. Bridget was startled from her rest. She said she wasn't sleeping. She just laid down. Like just imagine you have a stomach ache. You lay down fully clothed. You're like, I'm going to do a little tum -tum. Yeah, I'm going to do a little 15 minute little snooze, you know? <laughs> um, she was still fully dressed. Uh, she heard Lizzie calling out from downstairs saying somebody murdered father. Bridget or Maggie ran down the back stairs from her room and found Lizzie with her back to the screen door where she asked her to get a doctor. Bridget immediately ran to find the local doctor, doctor which was named Dr. Bowen, to come to Andrew, but he wasn't home. 
Bridget returned back to the house and Lizzie explained that she was in the backyard when she heard a groan and saw that the screen door was completely wide open. Well, Following oh, the groan was the screen door? What was that? What was the groan? The screen door? What she, well, Lizzie was saying is that uh, she was outside and she heard the groan of her dad oh, her getting dad, like, killed. Ugh. And then she <laughs> said she said the screen door was open. Oh, mm. because, yeah, she was eating pears in the fucking barn. Yeah. Following mm. her discovery, neighbors and the doctor wandered in and out of the house. And maybe she did or she didn't. She wasn't sure again. Lizzie said that she thought somebody should look for Mrs. Borden at that time. So keep in mind, there's people running in and out of the house because the dad was dead downstairs. Yeah. So just imagine a dozen, dozen people going in and then all of a sudden Lizzie goes, where's Mrs. Borden? Yeah, and she's sketchy. upstairs. Sketchy. Yeah, dead. Almost like she wants people to find her. Oh, no. She's like, yeah. Right? yeah. To like. Yeah. yeah. So Maggie and a neighbor who was happened to be in the house now because of all the commotion that was going on in the yeah. house. Uh, they climbed the stairs and they, in searching for the, into the bedroom, they noticed the lifeless body as they approached the top step. Now, this is a really important part of the case. They noticed it at the top step of the stairs. Okay. Meaning they didn't go all the way into the room and they saw a dead body. Oh, Okay, well, I mean, it kind so of... So what they're saying, though, is that how do you, like, because Maggie was in the attic. Oh, so at Maggie comes Maggie downstairs. should have seen something. Yeah, she should have been like, what? Or right? maybe, no, mm. well, cause well, depending on where the attic is, like, cause here's the stairs, right? It's not like yeah. the attic yeah, is, like, that the attic exit is, like, right there. It could have been over there, and she's, like, running down the True. stairs. True, we would have to see the angle. You know, yeah. Andrew's you know, dead, dead, Andrew's dead, and yeah. she's like, ah! Yeah. I still think that, like... I don't know what, what crack fucking police team they have <laughs> on this fucking shit. But, like, when they're, like, bloody footsteps or, like, where there blood? Where's the blood? Okay, so this police arrived. so much blood. <laughs> so police arrived, but were seriously hindered in their investigation based on the lack of preparation. They've never had a crime like this. <laughs> this um, is just, like... They had is... no scene control. Like, it was just dozens of people going in and out of this house, up and down the stairs, out in the back in the barn, and the pears, and the hatchets, and this is oh nuts. <laughs> this is literally Martha Mox. Woof. Yes. They were like, wait, what? Someone what? got... Someone's... Yes. But they're alive. Yeah. He's no, like, they're, usually no I'm like, they're not. Usually I do like cats in the trees and <laughs> know, like, really. things. <laughs> However, they did find some evidence. They found two axes <laughs> and a hatchet, and those were found in the basement. Wait, so, wait, whoa. But only the hatchet was used. With blood? Or they just found him? Here we go. Okay. The hatchet had the handle broken. Oh, from the, okay. the 7,000? So it was just the yeah, top. exactly. So it was just the top, you know, the whatever, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, it had blood and hair on it. Okay, that was okay. the face headshot. Okay. Later on, though, using their advanced techniques of forensics, <laughs> they determined it was cow hair or some sort of animal hair. Oh, my God. Some suspect it was pigeon hair. Oh, that's one that... Feathers. Oh. oh from... And you hair? know he ain't breaking that fucking hair, axe on Hair and feathers. Two different things. Yeah, that's true. That's a really good point. True. They're so different. True. So they're different. Different textures. It's like, <laughs> oh, there's... <laughs> like, okay. Unfortunately... So, right, I'm going to solve that problem. So, unfortunately, yeah. though, the evidence stopped there. No blood trails. No bloody foot, footprints. Ooh. No blood on anybody. Oh, shit. I just... Honestly, the lack I, I of blood, it out. the lack of blood is actually the most concerning part of the case. You're hit 18 to 20 times each in the head. There's blood everywhere. everywhere. Dude, yeah. the splatter would be all over the fucking everywhere. walls Just the ceiling. Just out. Shit. Like, it'd be everywhere. And whoever did that would have blood on their dude, something, under their, their hair, their, their, their fingernails, finger their, their clothes. With blood, dude, in your, right. yeah, in your hair, your eyelids, yeah. it'd be fucking everywhere. So another part that was, this is the controversy. So uh, we established earlier, though, that the older sister, Emma, was out of town Mm -hmm. um, and she had a clear alibi. So she's clear on that Mm -hmm. as far as being the one to to axe. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, Lizzie's story continually changed in the trial. Uh, She was either drugged up or she was just crazy. Or she was just real good. Uh, she was a strangely oh, enough. I don't know. <laughs> strangely enough, the police didn't examine Lizzie for blood on her dress or on her person. Uh, now, some say it's we're rescuing for murder. You some can say keep because it like the women were kind of like, how could a woman do this? Yeah, and yeah. You know, it's inappropriate to inspect a woman. And also, like you said, it's uh, not like you know, it was not a very common yes. 
murder or common a uh, scene. So like they yes. didn't even know what to do. Yes, they're also, also like you can you can tell the cops so, are like woman couldn't. Do immediately this. thereafter, <laughs> <laughs> immediately <laughs> thereafter, uh, Lizzie said she wasn't feeling well and she went to her room. And she was never bothered again by the police. She went to her room. Meanwhile, it's like two fucking corpses. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'll be in my room whenever you guys are. Yeah. So <laughs> now we're going to save it for next episode. I have trial. Al- I have already formulated yeah. my like I've I think yeah. I've solved it. No, internally. no, no. You got to wait. For I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. So uh, there's a whole trial that happens. Um, and it's like the it's the, the news story of the time. You know, it's. It's the OJ of, yeah. of the time. And, oh, it's, uh, oh, it's, you know, it's it, gonna be so hot. Like, yeah, you can, like you can imagine going to get your fucking bangers yeah. and mash, and you're like, yeah. "Oh, can you you but, see what's going on?" At the but what was, <laughs> was a crazy, what was a crazy thing was that you didn't think. Uh, I don't want to say it, this sounds demeaning, but like a petite woman, a proper woman, would fucking axe right, them right, right. twenty times each. I mean, like, and I said, that's and the that, then that's a you know, it's not easy. I don't know if you ever cut wood. But like, ex- oh yeah, it's fucking swinging hot. twenty times in concession, and you're like, yeah, you gotta take a, you have a, you yeah. gotta have a miller, you gotta sit yeah. down and like have a yeah. break. But Eric back- actually went to my parents' farm. We we fucking cut wood. I know, with and I was dad. cutting wood in sandals. I know. I know. <laughs> we had multiple beer breaks. <laughs> <laughs> I was sore for like six weeks. <laughs> Your dad's all ripped. I know he's all ripped, like not, not tired at all. I'm like, and I'm like swollen and like you know you allergic also, to everything. You're also wearing like jeans. Yeah. You're wearing this exact yeah. outfit. <laughs> but you know, you're so, wearing your uniform. So, you. <laughs> so here's the problem with the case: is it's uh, it's all there's a lot of circumstantial evidence. There's not uh, yeah. There's not the murder weapon really. I mean, kind of. Because the cops did such a spectacular well, job. We could yeah. we could assume it's a murder weapon, but yeah. they yeah. said it was in- inconclusive. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I also exactly. don't know why they said we found two other axes. So? Were they, well, were they that used? could have been yeah, the so weapon. Th- Oh, that's clean them up. They clean them up. Oh, true. You know I mean? don't know, but I know yeah. wood is very porous, and it's like again you put back some, to the wood. You put, back yeah. to the blood. You put some blood in the wood, bro. That shit ain't coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. You're it's, not gonna it's, just that's wipe why it you, off. That's why you can stain true. wood because it's true. so porous. It just mm-hmm. like it just becomes one yeah. with it. So. so you, yeah, I guess. So we're gonna take up that in the next episode, the trial, and then the conclusions. I mean, who was it? You know, it was was it was it the stepmom? Now. Now here's Sean the stepmom got killed first. It. No, I know, but there could have been. There's two hours between them. She was sitting upstairs for two hours. But the stepmom got killed before the dad. True. So how could she no, no, kill? No, no. Well, she like no, a fucking I, sorry, time I mean, traveler. I meant more like was it was it for no, the yeah, stepmom, and then the dad was like a side thing. Uh, you know, I just uh, the, the two hours is confusing. How psychotic do you have to well, be? It's not that confusing because he wasn't there. That's so cool. yeah, he wasn't so there. Like, True. Yeah, true. Maybe, maybe maybe it was like instant thing. Like you do it, and you're like, oh shit! Like now I don't know how to get out of it. Yeah, I've got to kill him. No one will believe but the maid. Dead. Yeah, it could go. Either, He's been scamming her out go, of cash for this whole. It like, could go either pissed. way. Like what you're saying. Like oh, now I got to do it. But also, it could have been like just fucking pure rage. Is like I fucking hate both yeah, of you. Something and, to like, snap. Like she yeah. said something. So like predetermined. Also, it would give you. We're time gonna talk to, about that next episode. Would it give you time to clean up? No way. Uh, clean Two up hours? yourself, because that's all that no, was. So say say Lizzie killed the mom, or the stepmom, uh-huh. and then two hours go by. I mean, she greets him at the door. That's supposedly supposedly true. But according to the Bridget, supposedly. Bridget slash Maggie, yeah, supposedly she was upstairs. So maybe he was just a, <laughs> maybe he was just asleep, and then she just came down, and she was covered in blood. Oh, oh, and he wakes up. Wait, like, wait, what say the it again. Fuck? Well, because she or somebody killed the mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 20 wax. Yeah. La la la. Blood everywhere. Everywhere. That's yeah. what I'm everywhere. saying. There would be footsteps yeah. of like that's so then, like, where then are the, the footsteps? dad comes home and Maggie opens the door and apparently Lizzie says she greeted him. That means she cleaned up. Okay, greeted him after he was in there in the house, sitting down in but the living room. She would have had to clean up. She would have had to clean up and then kill him and then clean yeah, up again. Clean up she again. Had two hours. She had two, she hours. Had two hours. But I, yeah. I mean, shit. Well, I can, they, take, they I can take a shower in <laughs> one minute. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't have. They had a fucking. They, <laughs> That's they true. Plumbing. They were like, fuck, <laughs> get the water out. I think it's like they also dump didn't have, a thing they didn't have like water pressure. Great point. It's like we're like fucking sitting like jets and shit. Like she's like literally like gravity. Come on, come me. Crazy. Yeah. Also, it's not that not that easy to take blood off. So if no. you had a bunch of blood in your hair, have you ever done it? Yeah, like 
Really? Yeah. Jorge. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Jorge Sinaloa. <laughs> I spent six years in Waco. <laughs> Back in my cartel days. He's like, why do you think I moved to Florida? <laughs> That's the only way to escape. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Uh, the next time is the trial. And I uh, hope you guys tune in and uh, we'll see what happens with uh, Lizzie Borden. Yeah. And let us know what your thoughts are, you know, obviously, because there's a. This is a week in advance of yeah. the next episode, the conclusion. Yeah. So let us know what you think. Um, I, I, wa- I, I'm like itching to say my thought, but I don't want to. I don't wait for the next one. Well, we're gonna do a poll on Instagram. On, uh, oh, we're definitely on, doing uh, a poll. Yeah. On Spotify. 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 Before we'll do a poll like before episode two. Yeah. Who do you think yeah. Like it? who do you think? And then yeah. we'll do like yeah. now. Who do you think? Now, but last thing, last thing, Maggie, aka Bridget. Yes. So I kind of understand if she was being assaulted by the guy. If that was true, I could see it. That it could be her. Do you know what I mean? She has access. I mean, I could. There's no see evidence that, that but... says that, though, is the problem. But there's no evidence that says Lizzie did it. I mean, there's. It's just. There's also. These what, are the two. Point. I mean, right? we're, ex- two. we're expecting, like, you know. This 20th century technology, <laughs> yeah, and, and this is like in an 18th century world. I know, that's true. <laughs> They're like, true. what do we do? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's true. Right. So, yeah. yeah, I need to hear more of the trial. Yeah, yeah. I need okay. to hear the trial too. Okay. I mean, it's already sounds sketch. Yeah, okay. but, but I have a. Once you hear my theory, I think you both will, will be very pleased. With okay. okay, I love it. All right, we'll catch you guys next time on the Conspiracy Thanks Podcast. For watching, guys, nighty night.